the Karnataka Assembly began a debate on the trust motion moved by Chief Minister H.G. Kumaraswamy, who alleged there was a conspiracy to weaken his government. The vote is unlikely to happen today as the JDS Congress combined alone has 26 speakers uh, to back the motion. Now, Kumaraswamy hit out at the BJP saying it's not important if the coalition survives, but we must discuss this conspiracy to weaken democracy, accusing the BJP of helping the rebel MLAs approach the Supreme Court and leading them away from the coalition. He claimed his aim was not to stay in power but work for Karnataka's development. Now on Wednesday, the Supreme Court had left it to the Speaker to decide on the resignations of the rebel lawmakers. But at the same time, in a blow to the coalition government, the court had said they cannot that the rebel MLAs cannot be forced to attend the assembly, which blunts the threat of disqualification. <laughs> Hundred one percent, we are confident, and they are less than hundred. We are hundred and five. There is no doubt about it. Voting at the moment is not scheduled possibly till Friday, Saturday, unless and until the discussion, which starts on Thursday, is over. The court does not, and in this case has specifically said, it does not enter the political thicket, which is why it is saying the speaker will decide. But, tomorrow, if I have the numbers again by the time the vote comes, the government will survive as it should. All right, uh, Abhishek Manu Singhvi there, who represented the speaker in the Supreme Court in that plea uh, of the rebel uh, lawmakers who uh, wanted the speaker to decide on their resignations. But let's uh, take a look at what's going on uh, in the Karnataka Assembly as that trust motion has been moved uh, by Chief Minister H.T. Kumaraswamy, who spoke about uh, how the BJP is behind this conspiracy to weaken his government. And uh, he also uh, said that they helped the rebel MLAs actually approach the Supreme Court. Well, let's go across uh, to Maya for more uh, on the entire story. Maya, uh, Mr. Kumaraswamy had a lot to say on uh, the entire crisis that his government has been in. He also hit out, hitting out at the BJP and uh, also the trust vote is expected to continue. There's no time frame given, so it could continue uh, till from tomorrow, maybe even uh, till next week. Take us through what's happened so far. We saw there were some heated moments as well. HD, uh, we also saw Mr. Shivakumar, in fact, uh, hitting out at somebody and there was a response to that. So take us through what's happened so far in the assembly. Yes, the trust vote was scheduled to begin at 11 o'clock. At 11.10, the bell went for the legislators to go in. Immediately, H.D. Kumaraswamy, the chief minister, did move the motion of a vote of confidence to prove the majority of his coalition government on the floor of the House. Now, opposition leader B.S. Yediorapa, former chief minister and president of the BJP in the state, said, let's have the vote today. He wanted the vote to be done immediately, no need for long speeches. Now, of course, H.D. Kumaraswamy said that cannot be done. We have been accused of several things. We've been, we've been charged with several things. We need to be able to give him the chance of actually talking about that and clarifying and saying what has to be done, what, what we are doing on those issues. We need a chance to actually speak about what, uh, to speak about what we are doing. So H.T. Kumaraswamy, of course, not happy with the idea of a trust vote without a debate. Kumaraswamy was followed by Siddharamaya, former chief minister, who raised a point. Now, his point was seemed to be leading towards the disqualification, whether the MLAs who were not present should, in fact, be disqualified. He also questioned whether the Supreme Court order affected his role as CLP leader. As CLP leader, the Congress Legislature Party leader, he had issued a whip to all MLAs to be present in the assembly. Some of them chose to defy that whip last week, and many of them, of course, in Mumbai right now, in that rebels group. The Supreme Court, however, backing those rebels, saying that they could not be forced to attend the assembly. So what Siddharamaya raised today was also what others, like D.K. Shiv Kumar, what others, Congress people, had raised yesterday. How can the whip be negated in this fashion? If the Supreme Court says it's really up to the MLAs to decide whether to come or not, then what is the importance, what is the validity of the whip? So this was an issue raised by Siddharamaya as well. Next, Madhusamiya off the BJP saying, why should Siddharamaya raise that point now? If there's anything for the Supreme Court, it should be taken to the Supreme Court. Don't waste the time of the House on this. The House has convened to discuss 
the trust vote, only the trust vote, Supreme Court issue should not be raised here. To which HK Patil of the Congress said, but of course we can discuss it here if it's a matter which impacts the House. And this certainly does. The question of whether the MLAs should be made to attend or not, whether they should be made to follow the whip, it is an issue which impacts the House. And now, of course, we have Krishna Bhaira Gowda, who is also saying, also of the Congress, he's also saying that it should be made clear whether, in fact, those MLAs are part of the House or not. That should be made clear before any trust vote. So the general thrust of what the Congress and the coalition leaders are saying is that it could be seen to be said that decide on the disqualification first of those MLAs before taking up any trust vote. That is the general thrust, but the debate still on in the assembly behind me. It began shortly after 11. No sign of it ending soon. We've heard from several Congress leaders so far after HD Kumaraswamy debate still going on with some lively interjections from the BJP. All right, Maya, and of course, uh, this, uh, this session is all about who isn't there in the assembly. And uh, we do know that we did see uh, Ramlinga Reddy, uh, the rebel uh, Congress uh, MLA, who took back his resignation yesterday, but we weren't sure till he finally actually turned up at the assembly. But meanwhile, another uh, MLA from the Congress has gone missing and turned up in Mumbai. That is correct. You win some, what you gain at the swings, you're losing at the roundabouts. It was some good news yesterday evening when Ramalinga Reddy actually said that he would back the Congress, he would come to the Assembly and back the Congress. Ramalinga Reddy was one of those 16 MLAs who had actually resigned. He had resigned, in fact, and had said that his daughter, Samir Reddy, who remained as a Congress MLA, had indicated that he was hurt by not being considered for a cabinet post, despite his seniority despite being Home Minister in an earlier government. But he was never part of those rebel MLAs who went to Mumbai. He has been in Bengaluru all along. The coalition always did have hopes of persuading him to change his mind, perhaps by offering him post, like the Deputy Chief Minister, perhaps by offering him something in return. But he did turn up here today. He is in the House, sitting on the Treasury benches, and he has said he will support the coalition in the case of any trust vote. But yes, another MLA mysteriously vanished from that resort where the MLA supposedly loyal to the Congress were being kept. He said he was not feeling well. He's made his way out of that resort and he's made his way to Mumbai where he is in fact admitted in a hospital because he is not feeling well. Well enough to travel to another city but not well enough certainly to attend the house. So he has joined the other MLAs. So while the addition of Ramalinga Reddy brought the coalition back to 101, the disappearance of this Congress MLA brings them back to 100 against the 105 plus two independents of the BJP. But the debate still going on in that house behind me. Some leaders coming out now to give some statements to the waiting media. But the debate on no time frame given for the trust vote. Lots of people have a lot to say.